Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about this cutie right here. This is actually the Michael Kors Medium Hamilton Satchel in the color Golden Rod. And this color is giving me all of the fall vibe. And the Hamilton style is a classic silhouette. I know that in the past, he has had the style available to purchase and then it kind of went away and then recently resurfaced at the outlets. But I must say, even with it being an outlet bag, it is so well crafted. I think Michael Kors did such a great job with this bag. And I love how he did kind of keep true to the style of the satchel. When it came to the original Hamilton, you were actually able to remove the lock. Here, you're not able to do, so, do that. So it is just more so for decor. So you do get the lock and key there. And then here is the side of the bag. It is a very spacious bag. And I will actually go ahead and leave the measurements on the screen. I would have to say that this is a true medium sized bag. And it is actually able to hold all of my items in some. I even like the detailing here on the side too, the little scrunch detailing here. So it really doesn't do anything. It doesn't widen the bag or anything, but it's just a nice little touch to me. I, li I like that a lot. And then here is the bottom of the bag. So it does come with feet. And then you do get the Michael Kors logo there at the bottom. And then as you can see, I did adorn this bag with all of these beautiful charms. And let me just explain. I am actually gonna blame this all on TikTok because I have went down the longest rabbit hole when it comes to accessorizing bags. When I tell you the TikTok girlies are doing their thing with accessorizing their bags and I'm so here for it, I just love it. So I wanted to play around a little bit more with accessorizing my bags. So I did actually take this chain here off of my Michael Kors coral bag and I actually added it onto the bag. And again, this is a Michael Kors chain. So it actually does say Michael Kors on the hardware. And then I took my little lip Tom Wesselman coach charm and just attached it to the chain. And then to kind of top everything off, I just took this little charm here that I got from Shein and added it to it. And I just thought that it, yeah, it really spruced up this bag. Not, not that this bag needed any sprucing up, but I just love it. I love it. I feel like it is um, a really nice touch to the bag. So yes, I was so excited, y'all, after I finished putting everything together to see how it turned out. And this bag has just been everything now i will say that with me having all of the items that i have in this bag this bag is weighty so with me carrying it on the crook of my arm that's typically how i've been carrying it it is definitely weighty so if i'm going to be out for a while i would want to be able to sit this bag down instead of carrying it around the whole time but with this bag it does come with a snap closure and i have been keeping this snap closed it's a pretty strong closure so even with me leaving it open I find that it always still finds its way to the closure and that's completely fine with me now this bag as you can see too does have the little hooks here on the side because it did also come with a shoulder strap but I as you can see did not put that on the bag and use it I will actually go ahead and insert a video though so that you all can see how it looks as a long shoulder bag and then with the strap, it can actually even be extended to where you can wear it as a crossbody bag too. And I'll also leave the measurements for that strap on the screen. Now, to go ahead and get on into the inside, I do want to show you all the items that I do have in this bag. I will say that when it comes to Michael Kors, he is or has been known for like organization of his bags. However, with this bag here, there's really not any organization. Like literally the only organization inside of this bag is a zip pocket in the back. That is pretty much it. So that is kind of a bummer. I really wish that he did have more organization inside of this bag, but all in all, I still was able to make it work. So the very first thing that I had in the bag, y'all, was this right here. And yes, I am carrying a full-size bottle of body cream in this bag. <laughs> this is actually the Bath & Body Works Into the Night. 
And the whole reason why I put the big size in here is because I recently went into the store to purchase more of this because I love this. And I was going to get it in the travel size, but Bath & Body Works actually had these going for $5.95. So I figured I might as well just get the bigger bottle since it's the same price as the travel size right now. And yes, I love the scent so much, y'all. It is so good. Now, I do, however, already have the body spray in the travel size. So I also had that in my bag as well. All right, let's see how I can do this. There's so much stuff over here, y'all. <laughs> I actually just fin finished filming another video. Um, and I have a lot going on over here. Okay. So the next thing that I have in the bag is this right here. So this is actually my Michael Kors sunglass case that I got from the outlet like six or seven years ago. It's pretty old. So it actually says Michael Kors on it. Um, and I am actually holding my little cleaning cloth and I have some sunnies that I picked up from, where I get these from? Forever 21. So yes. These actually replaced the Dior ones that I had because my Dior ones actually came with studs on the sides and the studs y'all started coming off. So we can't be walking around like that. So I have retired those and I just end up buying some inexpensive ones and they're doing just fine for me. Okay, so moving on, the next thing that I had in the bag is my deodorant and this is the Secret Outlast. And then next thing, I think Kayan put this in the bag because I recall putting this in my bag <laughs> but it's this little shark toy y'all <laughs> what in the world that little boy I tell you I tell you what he is something else y'all <laughs> um I do have my antibacterial spray in here and this is vampire blood so I did get this from Bath and Body Works on last year and I'm really just trying to get this stuff used up because it should have already been used up. I don't know why I still have it. But anyway, moving on. Um, next thing that I had in the bag. Oh, panty liner. Loose panty liner in there. And then I had a receipt that I got from Lidl. Um, this is the first little pouch that I decided to use, y'all. So this pouch I actually got from belt one year and it came in a set um when i had purchased some mac lip sticks so in here i pretty much just have my cerave sunscreen i have a tied to go pen and i yeah that's pretty much all that i had in there huh i did not realize that i thought i had more in there but that's all that was in that pouch and then i am using this right here y'all to hold my keys and this little, this little coin purse, y'all, I am just really, really enjoying. This is actually in the Depensa print from Dooney and Burke. And look, y'all, this goes so nicely with the bag. Like, I just love, love, love how that looks. Yeah, it's very nice. So I'm actually just using this to hold my keys. And then the next thing that I had in the bag is my wallet. And so the wallet that I decided to go with, y'all, was this one here from MCM. It is actually in the color Golden Mango. And this Golden Mango is more vibrant than the Golden Rod. But I feel like they complement each other very nicely. So you can't really tell off the camera. They're kind of blended in. But the Golden Mango is, or not Golden Mango, the Golden Rod is a little bit more, I guess, muted in a sense. Yeah. But I thought, again, that they complemented each other really well. And at the end of me showing you all everything, I'll definitely be sure to post a photo of my accessories so that you all can see how they all came together. Um, the next thing that I had in the bag was my Chanel card holder. Still enjoying this so much. And then I had this little um, kiss lock. This kiss lock is actually from Dooney and Burke and it is actually in the natural Florentine. And I'm pretty much just using this to hold like my candy. So I have my Trident gum. Oh, I have my crystal light. And then high chew. And then of course like my little cough drops and things that I like to carry. So that's pretty much all I had in here, y'all. And this is actually pretty empty. I did have some crackers in here, but I did eat those while we were out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty empty, so I can definitely fit more in there if I choose to. But I love this little thing. I actually don't own many of these, but I do really like them. 
And then the last thing that I had in here, and as y'all can see, the Dooney accessories kind of took over, especially when it came to the natural. I just thought that the natural went really, really well with this color. And this, y'all, I am just absolutely loving. If I can get my hands on more of these, then I definitely will. It is actually the Large Slim Wristlet. And this is actually in the Florentine Natural. And this I'm pretty much just using to hold my makeup. So I actually have my MAC Lippy. And this is actually, what is this? Oh, this is Ruby Woo. Okay. Yeah, this is actually Ruby Woo. Very, very gorgeous shade. And I do have this on my lips today. I actually do have Ruby Root in the middle and I have Deeper Danger on the out part of my lips. It's more of like a burgundy shade. Um, and then the next thing that I had in here is my lip liner. And this is actually by the brand Misho, I believe is how you say it. Pretty sure I butchered that, but this actually came in one of my Etsy subscriptions. So I decided to give it a try. I really like it. Um, and then I also have this by Beauty For Real. And it's actually a lip liner too in a burgundy shade. And then I have my eyeliner. I have used up the Ilia eyeliner, y'all. So I uh, I had to go into my stash and pull this one out. Never tried it before, but I am loving it. It is by Cl uh, Clinique. And it is the Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. And then I have my Lacombe Idol Mascara, which I need to get more of because I'm actually almost out of that. I have my Bobbi Brown Crush Oil Infused Gloss, and this is actually in the color Free Spirit. Very pretty neutral. I have my Benefit Brow Cosmetic Pencil. Tried and true. Love it so much. <laughs> and then I have my ink pen, and the top is off of it. So let's put that back on. All right. And then I have my little brow shaper my OPI nail glue, which I need to put some press-ons on soon, y'all. Yeah, I gotta do that. And then I have like my little manicure items, my little tweezers, my nail clippers, and nail file. And then on the other side, y'all, I pretty much just had like the registration card that came with this, the, um, what do you call it? I'm drawing a blank. The tag. And then I put this in the back here, y'all. So I actually purchased this, I believe, at the end of last year. And I hadn't used it yet. So when I went into my stash to get the lip liner, I came across this and told myself that I need to throw it on my back and I need to start using it. This is actually by the brand Fenty Beauty. And it's actually a highlighter, but I plan on using it for, like, eyeshadow. So on one side is Ginger Binge and on the other is Moscow Mule. All right, let's see if I can show y'all this. So this side is ginger and that side is mascal and it does come with a little um, mirror there as you can see. So yeah, I have been trying to get this used because again, I don't need to just have makeup just laying around and not using it. <laughs> and then the last thing I had in the pouch is my little mirror that I am just still loving y'all. This mirror is just so, so good. Oh, I just love it so much. And that's pretty much everything that I had in here. So even though it is like, it's compact, I love it because of its slim profile and the fact that it is able to hold all of my makeup items. So again, I love, love, love this thing for that. And then the last thing that I had in the bag, I'm going to just pause and take out because it's actually a loose card. All right. Don't need, don't need to be showing my credit card information. And then I have a loose paper down in there. And I'll show you all how this bag looks. So again, as you can see, there's really no organization. The only thing is that back zip pocket. But that is pretty much it. Very much so. So in the back zip pocket, I pretty much just put items in that I would typically have in the back pocket. So I do have a mask. Some wet ones. My backup earrings. A toilet seat cover, some Tylenol and medicine. I have a goodie powder as well as some lens wipes. And then I have more medicine, um, feminine products, my little soap sheet. 
my pill container, and eye drops. So that is pretty much everything that was in the bag. And then here is the tag in case you were interested in this bag. Again, it is the Medium Hamilton in the Golden Rock color. There you go. And this is all leather. So as you can see, y'all, the leather is so soft. Like this bag is just puddling as I'm taking items out. <laughs> Like the leather is just so good. So I would say that it's more of like a very like soft leather. It's not really a structured bag in my opinion. Um, and I love that. I really, really like that. Um, I think that it's gonna wear very nicely over time. And again, as promised, I will go ahead and insert a photo so that you all can see how my accessories came together with this bag. Yeah, it was just such a nice look, y'all. I just love it. And I don't think this will be my last Hamilton. I would definitely entertain more if he came out with other colors that I love. So that is that, y'all. That pretty much completes this video. Let me know in the comments, too, if you own a Hamilton bag. And if you do, how do you love yours? I would love to know. Oh, and if you have some of the older ones, too, how has yours carried and worn over time? I would love to know that as well. If you enjoyed this video, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.